taking photos and videos in the cloud with OneDrive. Ever wonder how to get all your photos and videos from home to school? Well, OneDrive is your answer. By using the OneDrive app, you'll save space on your phone because the photos and videos are not actually saved to your phone, they're uploaded directly to the cloud. The OneDrive app can be downloaded from the Google Play Store or the iTunes App Store. Once you've downloaded the app, you can get started in three quick steps. Step 1. Enter your school email address. Step 2. Enter your school password and click sign in. Step 3 is to add content by clicking on the plus sign at the top of the screen. The three options we will use most are create a folder, take a photo or video directly within the app, or to choose an existing photo that we've already taken and is on our phone. For any new project, I suggest to create a new folder to keep all of your photos and videos organized. Once you've given your folder a name, click the Create button at the top. Now you'll see my folder has been created and is empty. If I again click the plus sign on the top, I can choose to take a new photo or video. Here you'll see I've taken a photo and I'm given the option to either retake or use the photo. If I click use the photo, you'll see a little status bar at the bottom. Once it's completed, you'll see the file pop up at the top. To take a video, I'm going to go to the plus sign again and choose take a photo or video again. And I'm simply going to swipe to the right to change from photo to video. Here I'm going to take my video. And once I'm finished, I'm going to select use video. If I click on the uploading file one of one message, I can see its progress. And here I can see both of my files in my folder. If I click on one of the files, I should be able to view the files. And if I went back to my OneDrive, I can find the original winter video folder that I created in the beginning.